So John Boy, where are we going? Swindon. <laughs> no, today is not Swindon. <laughs> Uh, right, so we are off to uh, carry out a site visit uh, for for an upcoming project. Um, we've we've been juggling two or three uh, quite big projects recently, so we're going to go and get some final plans in place um, for one that's starting in the next week or so. We're going. We're going. We're going to go down and have a look to make sure that everything's accessible for the lads that are going to carry out the work. Um, more, John, more roof cleaning. Yeah, more, more roof cleaning, scrape and treat. When John visited the site originally, the roofs were covered in snow, so we you can really see the, the full amount of moss that might be on the roof. So we're just going down and take a better look, so we can we can manage it properly when the lads go down there. It's uh, yeah, that goes to show sometimes how uh, how long some of these things are to to get over the line. Uh, it's been in the in the process for a few months um, but yeah finally finally got there and get the last plans in place two peanuts went walking down the street one was assaulted <laughs> <laughs> These are the roofs at Clay Acre in Chesham. Uh, we've got the fronts and the backs of all of these to clean. We're here at having a recce of the place just to get the final, the final details in place and to obviously work out the plan of action. Some areas of the roof, uh, they're quite heavily mossed, uh, especially near the, the tree lines. Let's get up the hill. It's a good workout on these hills. So yeah, it's just about working out uh, which areas to to start on first? How the team would move around the buildings. Be good to get some drone shots as well, because as you can see, it's a bit tricky to actually see the roofs from some sections. Uh, let's go this way. Here he is, the man. He's got a he's got a severe bowl on him, that bloke. <laughs> funny walk. Hello, fun, kids. Funny walk, funny walk. So yeah, look, look, looking at it, the, the only sort of obstacles I can see really is or oh, what's gonna be awkward is the three-story work and then the backs of these. The backs of them are straightforward, they get straight mm. up on them. Would you even require a tower at the back in some of them? Um, Looking at the the angle of it, it might maybe just a couple of a couple of levels. If it, the higher you get, the closer you get to it, the easier it is. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, where I was standing, I could have probably. I was thinking you could get a pole from. That's that really sticky one on that roof there as well. That's, it, it come off, but it does. It always leaves a little bit on. But the, yeah, I mean, you can scrape and scrape with this. It's not just going to roll off, you know. No, it should, it should be all right. I mean, they're on top of it as well, so it's not. That's only here. The backs look straightforward. You got plenty of room there. Plenty of room there. That one up there was a bit. Looks a bit tricky. Yeah, I, I mean, if you were stood here, fair, you, you could. could you yeah. wouldn't even require a towel there, no? Yeah, you 
you could scrape that. I mean, especially these. Depends on their length, though, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah, you're, you're going to be... That'll be a lot on the... A lot on the shoulders. Well, a lot to move down there. Hmm. Yeah, and I guess the next steps as well is to yeah work out potentially for the lads what ones to start on first as to then who we notify first because if they they're going to be blocking garages with the towers around the front, so they'll be notified of certain days that were coming. You know, day one the front of these two, day two the front to the other side. And then I'll go around the front and make a note of each number and then we can I can put that in the plan. I mean really I, I think that Yeah, I, I think that they could do the fronts of all of that in two days. Bio it. Well, after they've done it, it might go into three days, and then they've got the rest of the time to worry about the backs. And the, the, the backs on the other side are going to be a bit tricky, and all the little extra pieces. Yeah. Porches and. This side though, back wise. He, day. Yeah. Day, day for yeah, two of them on it for a day, I reckon. <laughs> Side. Is that so? Those so, are good sides. Uh, my good side. This is more. This is my good side. That's my good side. Um, so we, yeah, we just just come back from a site survey. Um, had a look around the buildings just to make sure that everything was accessible and the lads could carry out the work uh, safely and efficiently. Uh, I believe they can, and I believe we can accomplish the the timeline. Um, it was quite an important job to go and have a look at, but this job now that we're going to have a look at is. For me, the most important job we've got today, because um, we have just pulled in at the drive at McDonald's. Not sure whether to go for the uh, Mighty McMuffin or double sausage, double egg, bacon, muffin, or breakfast roll. Uh, all of them. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Life original. Yeah, it worked well. It doesn't like that either. breakfast. Uh, after being well and truly fed by John, he's now duped me into going and visiting multiple sites in Lake Buzzard that I didn't know anything about. <laughs> the grind never stops. Stitched. Even if we are both in food comas. Serious note, John. How long have you been with Red Clean? So I've been with Red Clean now for uh, a year and eight and a half months. Started at the start of last year, and uh, I'm loving it. Ba -da 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 -da. Loving it. And what, what, nice. what do you actually do? I mean, what do you bring to the table? <laughs> what is the point in you? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for a McDonald's. Uh, I'm good for a bit of grub. I make a good cup of tea. The I'm still not quite master your coffees. Nah, you get there. It's a bit of a nose burner. 
<laughs> well, it's never quite sweet enough. I don't know. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm, I'm still struggling on that part. Um, but no, so yeah, if you want, if you want a little guided tour of my day-to-day -day life. Um, so as yeah, business development manager, uh, I guess it's my my role to to manage new uh, and existing uh, business really. So that's when I first come in. Um, it was quite a new role for me. Um, I've done similar previously, but um, it's definitely where I wanted to be going career-wise. So, um, what was this car doing? Uh, so yeah, managing the existing uh, clients, whether it's domestic or commercial, uh, from from what you guys have built over the years. Um, I mean, some of them that we're still servicing, you've been cleaning for the donkeys years, didn't you really? So um, they're obviously, as always, a, a priority. Um, and then yeah, it's it's building that that customer base, the, trying to get, get new business on board um, from a, yeah, an array of methods I guess to, to try and go about acquiring that work but yeah we've got some got some big contracts that have been coming in lately which is which is brilliant uh, you've probably not been able to hear any of that over the radio just, <laughs> just thinking about it <laughs> um, but yeah so it's it's day to day it's yeah managing um, obviously all the customers we've got um, and then going about getting new business so yeah I mean in terms of new business that's as you know yeah we we claim pretty much everything so um, we've we're, we're turning our hands to, to a lot of new new uh, challenges um, which is great because it just helps yeah, helps us grow helps us get experience with different types of jobs different size of jobs um, but yeah, no. I mean, overall, I love it. I think we've got a we've got a great team. We've got some great lads out working. Uh, yeah. I hear you've got a, a really really good operations manager working alongside you as well. You did. Well, I heard that we're hiring for one soon. Right. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah. You you know a thing or two, um, and that helps. Um, I think people look at us, well actually I'm, I'm painting us both with the same brush there, but look at us like clowns. <laughs> but That's, it's great. Yeah, but I'll, yeah, we, we know what we know and we're good at what we do. I think what what everyone's good at, at like at Red Clean, I mean, we sort of play to our strengths, don't we? Like everybody's, as a whole, like you've got all areas sort of covered. Um, But yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, we've got a really good setup, really. Um, yeah, we all fit, we all get on. I think that's key. There's no, you don't get any office, there's no office um, bitchiness or, it's, it's, yeah, it's an e easy workplace. I, I don't, I, ne I never dread coming into work. I dread, <laughs> I dread what might come while I'm at work. But it's, yeah, it's, it's a good environment to work in, good bunch of people. That is definitely something, because I mean, we've all had jobs before where, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you know it's it's uh, it's a bit of a task to get out of bed because you know you, you're not you, you don't enjoy maybe what you do. But um, yeah, it's, it's never been the case here, um, and there is genuinely always something new going on. Um, yeah, it's constant. It's constant. Isn't it? There's always something in there. Well, I might think I've got nothing to do for the next three hours and before I know it, the three hours are gone because there's been this, that or the other thrown at me. Oh, I mean, I don't think I've ever, like, clock watched once, like, re realistically. I mean, it's not, it doesn't sort of, I don't know, it probably sounds cliche, but yeah, it doesn't really seem like um, uh, a, a, a job as such. I don't know if that sounds weird, but like, it, yeah, it's just normal to to come in and get on with it because yeah, there's yeah. always like exciting new stuff going on um yeah i mean exciting is probably the word for it because there's a lot around the corner we're growing uh, building on what we've got and then there's yeah lots of new stuff coming along um busy 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 yeah i 
I'm not going to lie though, at one point just before Christmas last year when it was a bit quiet, I did start watching the Spider-Man movie on my laptop. <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> No crumbs in my car. Did I tell you I cleaned it yesterday? That's why I kept this bit. Did you go on it as well, Ed? Yeah. <laughs> they made these smaller now, I'm telling you. Oh, no. Get out. I will. <laughs> you didn't know where to brush that, didn't you? <laughs> I'm trying to be... I've got a swell. Uh, next stop. Oh, we're going to go and have a look at the roof that you've cleaned previously. Because that is what we do. And then... In between McDonald's and caramel slices, we do work. And then there's more windows to have a look at around the corner. Where's it down this way? See it here, look. I'm stay next door. Oh, wow. There's obviously the extension is a slightly different color. Different, yeah. But a difference on this. The trouble is, when you park up like this, you can't see it, can you? No. Lower than it is. I mean, you can see it. Definitely can't see it. I'm absolutely sweating. Yeah, I should have worn shorts. Was you, was you on that roof, was you? No. Ah. Seen another company doing it, I thought he'd done a good job. Well, that was one of your babies. No, I thought he'd done my age, I think. God. Come on. John's walked off to go and look at the fronts and backs of loads of blocks of flats. I made the mistake this morning of ironing a pair of jeans that are probably about two sizes too small for me. So it is quite a, a stretch for me to, to walk distances when they're so snug. So I've left them to it.